Hello world! In this video I will demonstrate you how to make a perfect 3D image from a building with the drone. A step by step guide with the best results for almost free. However, for the best result you need to get the license of WebODM to get rendered images on your own system. This will save you a lot of money for later on. In another video we will demonstrate you how to make those images available on your own server so other people can see them as well. Links for all the programs used are of course in the description below the video at the end. As always I use autopilot but you can use any waypoint flight mode. You always need to make a plan, especially with regards to the flight parameters. This is of importance when you use more than one mode, as we do in this video. As we have demonstrated in previous videos, it is best to do the mapping in crosshatch mode, so north to south and east to west. The camera needs to face down, this is very important. This is a standard grid sample. For best 3D results always use an 85% overlap. This is the crosshatch pattern. Please note that the aircraft altitude is set to 45 meters. This comes back in the second state of mapping later on. When you have rechecked your settings and surroundings, you can lift up. I always lift up manually, and when I can see that I'm clear of cables and trees, only then I activate autopilot. First, we're gonna do the crosshatch mapping. Note the altitude.
Now we make a second mapping in orbit mode. It is very important to have the same altitude as when we flew the crosshatch. For a mapping, I usually set the focus strategy at 2 meters. Please note that the altitude is the same as with the crosshatch. And now we fly a second orbit at around 20 meters. This gives a very clear 3D render image. So, we did a crosshatch and two orbits. In this case, that is 177 images. In WebODM, start a new project and load all your images and let wet ODM do its magic. Please note that this will take a couple of hours. You can load all images in the same batch. Web ODM is very good in drone images, but not in normal models. One reason is the geo reference information, but there are enough other programs to do that. After completion, we can preview and download the model and his textures. But first, see the difference between two models with the old method compared to the latest results. This is the first mapping we did of the farmhouse. Rendered with Maps Made Easy. This was with the cross hatch grid and the camera in a 20 degree angle.
this was the second mapping in orbit mode with PIX4D, rendered with Maps Made Easy. And finally, the mapping with three autopilot modes, rendered in Web ODM and viewed in MeshLab. Please note that some areas on the farm are not there. This is because that was not visible for the drone, for example under the gutter. You can solve that with one more orbit at very low level. And finally, this can be the result. To recap. 1. Make a crosshatch grid mapping, camera facing down. 2. Make one orbit at the same elevation level. 3. Make a second orbit at half the elevation level. 4. If needed, make another orbit at ground level.